Yes, sir. What's up, Tommy? Hey, you what's up, what's up, guys? Oh, I look really talk? dark on the screen. Yeah. So do we, though. The lights are on down here. You better find a better spot for this. But for now, we're, we're, we'll be good. For now, we'll be good. But Mike, uh, we might need some help from uh, from Drew setting up the agency meeting. We'll do a little test run or something before. And then maybe Gio, you could help as well on the test run because uh, I don't want the agency meeting to be on TV screens today. You know, I don't want everybody to have to separate and go around. Uh, I'll hop on for maybe a, like 10 minutes or so, but I, I'd like to try and keep it in in house and around the horn virtually. So for the agency meeting today, um, I'd like to uh, recognize the top people for last month. You gotta make sure those tables are locked. I don't know how that came unlocked. Underneath the table, that little lever thing, uh, do you guys know how to fix those tables if they, if they start doing that? You have to take the lever thing and you have to like really push it down so it like hooks around. If you see how it like hooks, so you have to push it. Yeah, and do the other side though too. The other side might be the one that's loose. There's there, there's a handle on the other side, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. In case got. Oh, okay. All right. Should be good now. Um. Yeah. There you go. I don't know how that come, would come undone unless somebody undone it. But so uh, we're gonna uh, recognize the top people for last month. So we got the top agent, SA, GA, MGA, going to speak today. Uh, so that should be a good portion of the meeting. Um, and then what I wanted to do is have uh, maybe like three stories from convention. Uh, one of them I'd like to be a funny story. You know, so if somebody has like, if you know, three people to speak and if somebody got something funny about convention and then something fun and then something uh, like what they get, what they got most about it, you know, so we could have three people from convention. Who do you guys think would be three good people to talk about convention? I think Reich, maybe he seemed like the most like uh, star shocked, like the most uh appreciative he thanked me like 40 times <laughs> he sent <laughs> text messages and everything <laughs> like and every yeah. time we're walking on the boat hey, i want to thank you yet we're at dinner did i thank you yet i know i already thank you a bunch of times but i want to thank you again <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i think reich would be someone good to talk um and i don't know what do you what do you guys think maybe melissa melissa speaks well she's very appreciative and I'd want to get a female going and then someone who can like maybe bring a little bit more like uh, a professional words, you know, those are rookie speakers. So somebody who could speak like better. Geo spoke from convention last week. Mm -hmm. I would say you, maybe Vince today, since you spoke last week and you were there, you two are probably the most polished speakers out of the group that went down there. So I'd like to have a Polish speaker speak. I'd like to have someone really new to like two people that are more new and I, uh, better, it's better to have a guy and a girl. So I think that would be really good fire for the whole agency guys. Um, main MO guys, I wanna take a hundred people to convention next year, hundred, hundred people. So, um, so we've been talking about it, building it up. You know, uh, we talked about it last week, everybody's back. So we definitely got to bring it back up again. So today we'll have some speakers speak um, about uh, convention. I think first we'll do that. And then um, we'll announce the top people for the month. Whoever the top MGA is, we'll have you close the month down. Maybe um, what I could do is, is if I could do like the first, I don't know, I, I just need like 10 minutes where everybody can maybe hear me and then the rest can be, you know, you guys. So, so um, what do you think? Uh, you think I can maybe open up for 10 minutes, pass it to the, the convention speakers 
um, then, then pass it to Gio, can do all the outstanding performances. Um, and then we'll announce the top uh, people for the month and that, that'll be it. So I'll be real quick. I'll do a quick intro, like 10 minutes just to get everybody caught up to the speed up of where we're at. I'll go, um, then right after that, we'll have the convention speakers talk. Then we'll uh, announce the outstanding performances and Google reviews. So Drew, if you guys can do the Google reviews too. Yep. I'd rather it be from there than here, if you guys know what I mean. It's just better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and then the top performers for the month, and then the MGA will close it down. Uh, Vince. Um, I think we should like uh, get a get a backup speaker for me because um, I don't know if I got the Rona or what, but I, I I've had like cold sweats and chills all night, and then like I, my whole body <laughs> my whole body just aches. So. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to, I mean, maybe when I get the immunity shot in me and like the day quill I'm having Dalton grab me right now, maybe I'll, I'll feel better, but I just don't want to get up there and be like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't think my, my brain is like fine right now on all cylinders like that, but. Well, who was the top MGA the for the month last year. month? I think you were, the, who was the top MGA? Wasn't it you last month? I thought it was G by a little bit. Or was it Gia? Okay. I mean, as far as the group so went, I think it was you. And then I never checked after everything loaded if I beat you or not or anyone. Yeah, it's close. Um, that last week made it probably 8,000 away from each other. 8,000, 10,000. Yeah, he, he was like 8,000 ahead of me. I thought you were 8,000 ahead of me. But yeah, I thought you were still ahead. Because you, you were like 20 ahead. And then we beat you by like. 10 last week, 12. Still could be like 8K. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, Vince, you were you were MGA. Okay. I think I think so. If you want to give me two seconds, I can I can pull it up on my computer here. Right. Verify. I mean that's fine. I can I can do so I if do. listen, if, if you're gonna speak for the MGA and you don't want to speak for the um uh you know, for, for the um, convention, then we can uh, just have you speak for MGA then, and we can have somebody else do convention. That's fine. So and who do you guys want to put in place of that? What about Christina? Yeah. Or Christina, so a female, oh, we got Faith, I went, Mason. Marvin, Mason. Um. So we're definitely gonna have Reich speak, and who else? Ma Reich, Melissa. Who who can bring the fire? Um, Mark, Melissa. I mean, who would be the most articulate with their words? Maybe maybe Faith. I'm not sure. If Faith planned it, maybe Faith. I'm not sure. Or Mace, you know, Mace, Mace might, if he Hunsberger. plans it out. <laughs> yeah. What about Hunsberger? There you go. Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you just, really hey, I mean, we're a team here, and, and this is going to be what your whole agency is going to hear. You know, Josh, Drew, I mean, who do you guys think that the agency would like to hear from that would provide the most inspiration and they'd like to see and hear talk, you know? I think from a senior leader would have been, would be good. So that's why I said Vince. And then from definitely a, a girl, you know, Melissa. Um, Hunsberger does good. And, and, and Reich. So if we have to replace Vince with Hunsberger, we could do that. Yeah, do that. But I think you can do it, Vince. I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. I just need time to. If, if things go downhill from now until the meeting, then uh, then we'll throw Hansberger in. So have him as a backup. Okay. I'd still like to keep the starter, Vince, in there and make it a game time decision. All right. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah that that'll be that'll be the flow for today um what do you guys think any questions on that stuff quick to the point who, who's um we just gotta figure out who the top performers are that's it. yes okay. yeah yeah cabinets have opened up we got past to convention uh people three people we got right melissa Hans is a backup vince is a starter and then we got the top performers and then the mga whoever the mga is gonna basically just just close out yeah, outstanding performances in Google, we'll put right in the middle of that. Yeah, okay. All right, um, so, you know, as far as PMPs, guys, uh, just a couple of things uh, with these. First of all, I went over last week, um, you know, I, I, I like to look at the good stuff, but typically when I go into the PMPs, I, I take care of the laundry first. So laundry means we gotta get all the people that have bad retention, we got to clean it up. You got to clean it up. So I'm not even really looking at the performances first. I don't even really look at uh, who did the most ALP, who, who, who said they were going to do 12,000 and only hit eight. That's, that's, that's very, very, very important. It's like, guys, doing my taxes is really important. And um, I don't know, uh, cleaning my office is not a high priority, but in order for me to do my, my, my taxes, I typically clean my office first. I can't do my taxes when my office is a mess. So like for PMPs, I don't really like the look. I feel like I can't do my business. I can't focus on goals for next month when, 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 when my business is a mess. And when we got business falling off the books left and right, still, to this day on the same problem we addressed six months ago, that's an issue. Our NTOs are way too high. Our incompletes are way too high. Our withdrawals are, are way too high. And our declines are way too high. Our business is not getting issued still. Why would somebody sign up for a policy and it not get issued to them? We got it. We got to dive into that. So, so anyways, let's. The, the first thing we do with the PMPs guys is what? Look at for people. Every make a list of all the people who have bad retention. Anybody who's under eighty, projected to be under eighty, needs an action plan. First and foremost, before we do anything else. Under eighty is the number we're looking for, right? Now, then I go and after I do that. Then I look at the people who are the worst. Anybody who's under 73% retention or projected to be under 73% retention, they need an action plan as well. And there's a problem that needs to be addressed. We can't think that we're just gonna wait six months and it's gonna go away. Listen, do you know Avi? Anybody know Avi? You know, Avi had bad retention for like two years straight. That doesn't make sense to me. If you have bad retention, the worst it could be is six months. You should never have bad retention for longer than six months. Because six months goes by, your retention gets bad. You look at it and you get it fixed. You should, the reason, here's the reason why the retention is bad. And here's the reason why it stays bad. It's because they're writing bad business and they keep writing bad business. Avi ran around. It's like, it's like, imagine this, guys. Imagine we're in a boat. We're in a boat, okay? But we're in the middle of the ocean. We got our whole team with us. They're counting on us to lead them to the promised land. And there's a hole in the boat. So as the captain... You have this great idea. You say, I'm going to go get this bucket and I'm going to just keep scooping the water out and keep scooping the water out. That same captain is going to be there two years from now. Guess what they're going to be doing? The same thing. Scooping the water out. Scooping the water out. We can't be chasing business and putting, trying to, put bad business back on the books the whole time. So we're, 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 we're putting the business back on, but the whole time 
there's a hole in the boat, so it just keeps coming back in. So we got the bad business keeps coming back in, and we keep trying to scoop the bad business back out. The problem is there's a hole in the boat. Stop the bad business from coming in. That's why I have Jackie troweling half our fucking bullshit. Last week, we sent 37,000 and we troweled 30,000. We sent 67,000 down to home office and 30,000 of it was troweled. And we're still having issues with the issue. And you guys are complaining. She's troweling this, she's troweling that. Well, get the shit fixed. Get everybody over 80% and we'll give some graces if we want to send some business. If you want somebody to say, hey, can we send this business? I'm going to say, uh, no, they're under 80%. They get trout. And it's killing us. Please don't be like that person who just keeps scooping the, bo- the water out of the boat. Fix the damn hole. Fix the hole. First. Like Austin, fix it first. Fix your presentation. Fix it. Don't let another second go by. Like, why would you, if you got a hole in your boat and you know water's coming in, why would you let another week go by and let her go write another $10,000 in business of shit fucking business where people don't know what the fuck they're buying? Sit down with the lady, help her. She's not trying to do it on purpose. Help the poor lady. She's counting on us for her leader, for leadership. We're leading her down the path and letting her do it. That's like me letting my kid eat fucking candy and then he gets fucking break, loses all his teeth. It's my fucking fault, not his fault. He's counting on his dad to lead him, to tell him what to do and what not to do and not let him do it. I, sometimes I'm not, I, as much as I want to say, don't do that. Sometimes I got to grab his fucking hand and say, get the fuck away from there. You got to physically like, hey, son, don't walk in front of the bus. And his dumb ass starts walking in front of the bus. What am I going to do? Say, oh, I told him not to walk in front of the fucking bus. No, I'm going to grab his ass by the neck and fucking throw him, physically grab him and throw him away from the bus so he don't get hit. It's my job to make sure it don't happen regardless. Regardless. So I'm sick of seeing this fucking shit, horse shit retention. Take control. Stop blaming everybody. It's your fault. It's our fault. We are the leaders. What kind of kids are we raising? I'm not raising people to write bad business. It's unpermissible, unacceptable. I never did the shit. I never did the shit. That's why my renewals were so fucking high. Why do you think I have more renewals than anybody in areas agencies? Justin's was 12. Mine was 22. He was in second place. That's a significant difference. That's because I wrote a lot more business and all my clients stayed on the books. If, I, if my clients weren't, were bad retention, I'd have no renewals. Why do you think I got the highest renewals? Because I got the highest retention. So I don't understand it. I just don't get it. And excuse me for just trying to be a little bit passionate about this, but we got to put our foot down. I don't understand when somebody doesn't write 6,000 in, in a week. I don't understand it. It makes no fucking sense to me. What the fuck did you do all week? What did you do all week? Your main job is to write business. You couldn't write 6,000? I did that when I was 24 years old. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. Off, off of some horse shit leaves and I had to drive around town all fucking day. There's no excuses. I expect 6,000 a week from anybody who touches a fucking lead who touches a laptop and opens it up. Don't go into the field unless you ain't writing 6,000 and don't do this business unless you're going to produce 80% retention or higher. That's the standards. That's the expectation. That's what I did. And that's what I expect from everybody else. We got to raise our expectations. I don't ever want you guys to start letting the, t- the dog, the tail wag the dog. I don't want your agents to come in there and start telling you, oh, but I just had a tough week. And you're like, Oh, yeah, I can really understand that. I understand how you blank this week. You should never fucking understand how anybody blanks or how anybody's ever under 80%. I have no understanding for that. I have no feelings for it. I don't feel bad for them at all. Actually, I do feel bad for them. I feel horrible. 
because they're in our agency and they're writing less than $6,000 a week. Who's their leader? Let's get them on the line. There's something busted. And it's probably the mindset and the expectations because the expectations are not set to where they need to be set. If I expect my, my kid to get Bs, he's going to get Bs. If I expect them to get 90%, he's not going to get 91%. If I expect excellence out of him, that's the only way I'm going to get it. When I start accepting 99% for my son, we're never going to get 100. So my expectation will always be 100%. Always. I'm expecting 100% on this test. 100%. Nick Saban, his dad, Nick Saban's dad, owned a car, owned a gas station. And there was a car wash there. When he was eight years old, when he was 10 years old, he had to work at the gas station. He had to wash the cars. If a car come back around and it was cleaned up, but there was one little spot of dirt somewhere because his dad would inspect it. Yeah. If there was one spot of dirt on there, guess what he made Nick Saban do? He made him wash the whole car again. Why do you think he's the highest paid coach in, in, in college history? No coach has ever been paid more money than this man. You want to know why? Because of leadership. Leadership, guys. Leadership is so valuable, so valuable. That's why you can make yourself such a valuable commodity. I went over it tons of times, and you already know about this. But we know that I took economics in college. And the first thing they taught me, first thing they taught me was supply and demand. First thing you go to college, you take macroeconomics, they teach you supply and demand. Then you go take a microeconomics class. Guess what they teach you? Supply and demand. So I, I learned supply and demand in two separate courses when I was a freshman, macro and micro. And it's simple. It's simple. If there's not a high supply of something, but the demand is very high, the, the price of that, that commodity goes up. The value of that, of that thing go, goes up. Leadership, there's not a lot of it out there. And high level of leadership, there's not a lot of it out there. The need for leadership is very high. People need to win. They don't want to win. They need to win. It is an absolute must. And it comes from leadership. Qualities in leadership, though, are execution. 100%. Not 99% execution. Don't get it done at that level. You might be able to coach Pee Wee. You might be able to get away with it at high school, but not at college. Definitely not at a Division I college and definitely not at a championship division one college. You ain't even coaching division three football with that kind of shit. You gotta be on point. So execution is such a key to leadership. That's what people pay for. People want a leader that can execute and get the job done. Did anybody listen to the uh, book that I sent out yet? Did anybody get a chance to? Just to, just wondering, I, I, I didn't expect anybody to like, Listen to the whole thing by now. But did you guys see the book I sent out? In the Boss Hogs grooming? Yeah. yeah. Did you listen to some of it yet? No, not yet. All right. So um, that is a great book. It has live interviews. You have to get the audio. It has live interviews from the best people in the world. Huh. The first person that he interviewed on there was Jeff Bezos. First person he interviewed was Jeff Bezos. It was great. And he talked about execution, talked about leadership, talked about a lot of stuff, talked about intuition. So, so what I said on Monday, though, guys, is I said I needed an email from anybody who has, um, who needs help with their retention. Because if they're under 73, then they're going to lose their bonus for the month. And if they're under 70 or under 65, they start losing their advance. If they're under 60, they lose it completely. So if you have somebody on your team right now that's not getting an advance and they're not getting a bonus and you are asking to get that forced for them, 
an email was supposed to be sent last week from the MGA. And there's people that I know got bad retention. I never got an email from their MGA. So how do you expect them to, to still work for you and still be with the agency if they don't have any money coming in? I don't think anybody sent me an email for Austin. Casey didn't send it. Gio didn't send it. Her MGA, her RGA. Nobody sent me an email. Matt Brown too. Did you send me an email for Matt Brown? Matt Brown went on retention this month. Did you send me an email for him? No, no, I did not. I don't think I saw one. I, I went over this in the MGA meeting on Monday last week, Vince. Didn't I spend time going over this, Josh? Yeah. Right? I, I went specifically over how you need to make sure you address now. the di If they need a bonus, you got to ask for the bonus. If they need an advance, you got to ask for the advance. Last month, you guys asked me for people who needed a bonus that needed an advance. Some of you asked me for an advance for people who needed bonuses. I got somebody – I got – Austin got a bonus last month and no advance or something like that. Like she's about to quit. Geo. That's under you. That's your responsibility. I put her on your team so I could trust you to handle shit with her. I'll help. But you're the main front line. She's calling me at convention. I had to spend an hour on the phone with her at convention. How many of you guys were working at convention? Nobody was. You guys didn't do no work at convention. I go, I, I, I see the other people that are running groups, team meetings, interviews, calling her pipeline. One dude was fake. Hey, what's going on? He's like, hey, Tommy, come over here. Say hi to this guy. Hey, this is one of the best guys in the company. I'm like, who's this? He's like, oh, this is a guy in my pipeline. Oh, dude, you better get your license, bro. Two things, study and pass. I'm telling people study and pass to random people who are FaceTiming their fucking pipeline, getting them all fired up about convention. I give Vince a personal recruit. I, 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 all, if I give you a personal recruit, guys, that's, that's called a layup. That's a layup. So you're standing under the basket, all right? You're standing under the basket, and we're playing basketball, and nobody's around you, and I throw you the ball, okay? Can I, can I trust that you're going to just put the ball into the basket, and, and I can just no, – that I don't have to look? Can I do a no-look pass? Or do I have to pass you the ball and then run over to you and stand there and, and, and say, hey – now take it and put it in the basket. Up oh, here, you missed. Here, here's the ball again. Do I have to sit there and watch and make sure everything's going on? If I give you a personal recruit that's licensed or anybody, period, I need to trust that you know what to do with them. I don't need to worry all the time. Like if I get a personal, I don't have to worry if it's being done properly. I don't have to worry if I need to remind you or inspect you, or motivate you. Like, I shouldn't have to remind and inspect if, 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 I, if I'm giving you a personal and the ball's getting dropped. Don't forget that shit and be appreciative. I promise you, if anybody ever gave me a fucking personal, which however, how, would I, how many people did Simon put on my fucking team, Dad? He took them away. That's right. That's right. That's right. You took them away. It was ignorant. It was ignorant. My dad tried to find lawyers so we could sue his ass. You can't do it, though. You can't do it. It's the mafia. I mean, it's fucked up. You tell me, bring the people in. I bring the people in. Train them up. Train them up. Get them to do this. Do this. Do all that. And he takes them away and puts them over there. What the fuck is that? They're my people. I brought them in. If he ever gave me anybody... I was like, oh, my God, I'm not going to drop the ball with this. I'm going to make him a fucking superstar. He gave me Scott Davis. 
Not only did I take care of Scott Davis, he lived with me. I gave him a house for free. He stayed in my place for free. And then I've got him so good. You know how good I trained this motherfucker? He became an SGA with the company. You put him on me, I turned him into an SGA. I put him with you guys that don't even make it in the training class. But Austin, guys, we got to take care of her. Literally, she's bawling, crying, crying. I'm at convention. She's crying. I'm on the phone with her, calming her down, talking sense into her, getting her fired up. But Geo last month, 59,000 was your gross MGA number. Let's see what Vince's was. So Cures was like, Cures is like, Geo, you were at 150, I think, or something like that for your RGA number. Yeah. Melissa's was 24. I think who is the GA? Huns, probably. Huns and Reg. Or Drew? I don't know. We'll see here. Ashley Miser, she only did a thousand last month. So see, see, uh, let's keep going. Let's just keep going here. Marquise. Marquise was negative 777 last month. And the month before that, 3,500. So over the last two months, he's been under. And another thing, guys, I, I forgot to mention. Uh, when you do your PMP cleanup, also look at the 6,000 for managers. Look at the retention for managers as well. Codes. Like, we got to start at the beginning of the month and know what the codes look like. So, hey, did Melissa get her two codes last month? So, technically, she needs zero codes this month. Okay, good. Melissa done. Austin, she got one last month. She got one before. So, she's on one once. She needs one this month, Right. Javon, Javon, he didn't get no codes yet. He needs to get a code, you know, or whatever. So you guys got to know the codes going into the month because you don't want to wait till the end of the month to figure this out. We've been there before. I think we've all been there where it's like the last week of the month and we realize like, oh shit, Johnny still needs a code. Well, I got Crystal, but Crystal's already coded. Crystal's already did the hierarchy and we put the hierarchy under Hunsberger. Now we got an email home office, switch the hierarchy, Hopefully the hierarchy switches in time and then code them. And then we code them. We find out it didn't switch in time. So the code ended up going under Hunsberger and it didn't go under Johnny. You got, we know we've been there before. So let's like, should we line that stuff up and we're not waiting until the last minute. Right. Um, the report that you got for the codes, can you maybe send that out this month or so we can see? Remember how you had that new code report? Yeah. The one from Jackie or. You showed it to us like a month ago or two months ago now. I, I, anytime I get those reports, I, I send them right over to you guys for the most part. But I'll, I'll look in there and uh, and definitely try and find that code report. So we need that for sure. <laughs> looks like Hans was number one GA with 59. And let's do more. We're going off gross right now. We'll go off for gross. So Christina was number one agent with 19,000. Um, yeah, Austin did 23 and Melissa did 24. That was your two GAs there. Austin did 13K. So it looks like, yeah, Christina was number one with 19,000. Um, Hunsberger was number one with 59,000. Uh, Tommy, this was his last month as an essay. Who would be the number one essay this month, guys? Yeah, Gio, you did 162 on your total level three. Yeah, 162 total level three. Vince was one. Vince was one oh three. So Vince back to back month hundred k club. We always said to get an office, you got to do doing a hundred thousand a month. And as soon as I remember when we had to throw you in that office over Todd, 
And I was like, he's gonna be doing 100,000 a month fast as shit. So there's two months in a row, 100,000. This month we got it, you're gonna blow it out out of the water because we need you at like 160 or something, whatever the number was. So we have, you did, you did 100,000 in a four week month. This is what I like to see is just so you guys know, it's like um, when, whenever I plan out the months and stuff. That, so for instance, uh, March, right? March, March, we had five weeks. But then in May, we had four weeks, right? So what I try to do is I, is I try to do what I did in the five week month, the very next month in the four week month. You know what I mean? That shows growth. Someone was like, you didn't grow. You did the same number. You know, like most people would say, Vince, you did 100,000 in March. You did 100,000 in April. You're flat past two months. No, no way. Because you did 100,000 in a four-week month, in a five-week month in March. Then you did 100,000 in a four-week month in April. Now, if you didn't write personal business in April, Vince, you would have been under 100,000. There's a big difference between 105 and 99. So, so that that's good. That's good stuff right there. Just so you guys know, when you when you plan out your months and stuff, you could do plan that out. So, um, but Hunsberger 59, that's good. Who's the essays, guys? What do you guys think? They won at 19 and a half. So I don't know if they won't beat him. Okay. Javon, 19 and a half. Patrick Sullivan, 13,000. That was his still his level one. Dalton did 5,800, level one. Stephen Ellis, 16,000. Looks like he might be number two agent. So number one was Christina. Number two was, um, number two agent would have been, uh, who did I just say? Stephen Ellis. Stephen Ellis, yep. And then Sullivan was at 13. Uh, Austin was at 13. Reich was at 40 on a team. So definitely Hunsberger is a GA. Sullivan's 13. And who else was 13,000? Pat and Austin did 13,000. Okay. Or Alex Mondragon, 10,000 for the month. Good job. He went from blank in the in, in March. In five weeks, he blanked. And then in four weeks, he wrote 10K. So now this is what we do, man. We, we got to stay on top of this and keep pushing them to keep thinking bigger and and uh, and, and, and keep driving. Um, Shayla about uh, negative business for the month. So, you know, show her how Alex went from zero to 10,000 in a month. She... Um... She had her appendix removed and kind of took her out for. Oh, yeah. Okay. Weeks. Same thing with Ashley. You know, she went from right in 2000 to 19,000 in a month. Uh, Man Reed, 5,300. Faith did 12,000, almost 13,000. So she's up there. Marvin, Marvin Mondragon's SA team did 23,500. Marvin's Mondragon SA team did 23,500. So uh, that might be number one. Or what did Tommy do? Nah, he beat him. Javon only did 19. He was the top on our RJ side. Oh, so Javon beat Tommy. Okay. Okay. So who's the top SA? Marvin, huh? Looks like Marvin. Marvin. Marvin's top SA. Okay. All right. Matt Jan's only 1900. Yeah, he was going through licensing issues last month. Okay. So he put business under other people then? All right. All right. So with retention, um, Josh sent me an email for all his people. So good job, Josh. Thank you for getting that over to me. Um, and we're good on that, on all that stuff there. Um, for you guys who didn't send me an email, so uh, Vince and, and Gio and Casey, your RGA, make sure that uh, I get this this morning 
so I could send that over so that they can give Austin some money, ASAP. She's freaking out last week. Um, Drew, 9,000 personal production. Solid, solid job, man. Way to step up. We're going to need that from, from you guys uh, for this year, man. I don't, I don't want the MGAs writing a lot of business. I really don't, don't really want that. Um, but when we're, you know, your MGA team's under 100,000 for a month, I need you guys in the field right now. Um, each MGA team needs to be over 100,000 a month. You know, so Gio, you guys were under 100,000 last month. We can't, can't. We got to be out there dropping a business. You need to be in there training your people. You need to be in the field. I mean, your team's not built right now. Your MGA team's not built, you know? So, I, I mean, we, here, just listen, guys. Here's what I want you to do with the fucking ALP, okay? I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want even like, I want, it, I want it to be hard. I want it to be easy, okay? So, here's what I want you to do. Just follow this, this recipe. It's so easy. You too, Dad, okay? All you do, Monday nights. Nothing's going on in the world. You're not missing nothing with my mom, dad. My mom is not doing nothing. It's Monday night. We're not missing nothing. You know what I mean? I'm not missing nothing with the kids. I missed every Monday night for the last 12 fucking years. I don't care about Monday nights. Okay. I've been, you see where I'm at Monday nights. You always see me. I'm at the office. Even today, this is the day as an SGA. I'm at the office till 1030. So, so Monday nights from, from like 630, six, six o'clock. I'd say you could get away at 6.30. But by 6.30, you should, you should, your, everybody should be on the phones, okay? Needs you to, you to set some appointments for two hours, two hours for the entire week. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna kill you. In fact, it's gonna help you. It's gonna make you sharper and you're gonna have some fire to spit to your team. Guys, yeah. Vince told me this is sad. I'm going to just tell you guys, though. This is re reality. I don't want this to happen. Vince told me he was rusty. Like, how the fuck do you get rusty? How do you even get rusty? Good. You should be a well-oiled machine. Yeah. But so, so that just makes me concerned. Like, what are you teaching your agents? If they got questions about how to sell, and you're rusty. So, so that, that's, that's definitely something um, to, to consider and think about there. Okay. Uh, now, now think about this though, two, two hours on a Monday night, two hours on a Thursday night. That's all you're going to call, but I also need you to have a caller. You need to have a caller that calls all day for you. And then Tuesday night, I don't want you out on the field all day, Tuesday. From, from six until 10, four hours, five until 10, if you need to start early, but six until 10 on Tuesday night, six until 10 on Wednesday night, four hours. You should be running those appointments. And that's it. You get three sit downs and three sit downs. Right. Yeah. Right. Two to three K on Tuesday, two to three K on a Wednesday. I can't tell you how much fire that brings to your squad. Can't even tell you. The fact that I went out on Tuesday with two appointments and I wrote 2000 ALP. And you've been out in the field for seven days and didn't write nothing. Think about the conversations we're going to be having. You know, it's an easy conversation having it fires them up. And it's not like I'm busting their balls. I'm, I'm literally concerned. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's too easy. You're overcomplicating the shit. Let me help you, dog. So, so um, we're, and here's another thing, guys. If we were ahead, if we were ahead, you know, may, maybe we wouldn't have be, be so, so pressed to do this, but, you know, we, we got, we, we're behind as well. We're behind for the year. So I'll get into that in a minute, but, but that's it. So everybody has a caller and then you make a couple calls. Cause you got some fire POS in there, guys. You got some brand new hard cards. You got some of the best of the best leads 
that I'm giving to you guys as the top performers. Because do you think I want my MGAs calling through discount cards and busting their balls to try and get some business written? I want to give you guys the layups. When I get emails and it says, hi, you know, Sammy Johnson wants some life insurance, I'm sending it to you because I want you to write business. That's why I'm sending it to you. And I don't want you to be hard to write the business. I want it to be easy for you to write the business. So I'm giving you, you're the highest qualified, you're the best sellers, and I'm giving you the best leads. It should be, and you don't have to drive anywhere. It should be easy. It should be like taking candy from a baby. So I, I just don't know what you could possibly be doing on Tuesday night at six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. I don't know what you could possibly be doing. Unless you're like this. Hey, Tommy, I'm on MGA. I busted my butt. My team did fucking 100,000 last week. I'm taking it easy this Tuesday. I'm going to go have some steak and, and I'm going to uh, read a book. All right. Let me know up front. That's cool. You did 100,000. You want to take a break for a week. Let's talk about it. But other than that, like unless you did 100,000 last week or you need a big break or something, other than that, what what are you doing on Tuesday night? And and what I what I would always want to do is have somebody with me. And 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 in today's world, if I couldn't have somebody with me, I bet I would definitely be recording my presentation. Because I know that these people definitely gave me some shit, and I definitely said some fire ass shit to them. And, I, and at the end, they end up buying. And I, and I even impress myself sometimes. I'm like, whoo, I can't believe I even sold them people. Did you, nobody was here to see this? Dude, I got to be, I'm going to go tell people and they're not even going to believe me. Like I have sales stories that I tell people and I know they probably don't even believe me. The only reason they'll believe me is because I had a trade. I have to call it, hey, Bobby, come in here and tell them what we, what I said. Tell them what I said. And that's the only way that people even believe half the sales stories that I've done because I have witnesses. If I do sales and there's no witness, it didn't even really was pointless almost, you know, because I want to be able to develop, duplicate, delegate. Right. I want to develop, duplicate, delegate. I call that taking you. You want to take your career to the next gear. Sure. You want to take your career to the next level. Sure. Right. But. Wouldn't it be cool to take your career to the next dimension? Let's take our, 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 our career to a whole nother dimension. Let's go 3D on them. Let's go 3D. Let's go 3D. Let's start developing. Let's start duplicating. And let's start delegating bigger, faster, better than anybody right now. Everything should be a duplication uh, 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 for, for, for the purpose of delegation. We should be developing and duplicating for the purpose of De developing and duplicating for the purpose of delegating 3d so so that's what that's what the alp as far as that goes that's just keep it simple keep it simple and and here's cool too most of the time you shouldn't even really need to have that many appointments set for yourself because you should be hopping in with one of your top people that you're trying to sharpen up like i like, you know what Brody, who, who, who does Brody ride with? Does anybody know who Brody rides with? Managers. You got it. You got it. You got it. As an MGA, you know, it, it's good to get to get some, you know, if you got a top producer, like definitely like a Dustin Caravaglia Geo can ride with him. You know what I mean? Like I got a personal Georgia CC that, I, that is going to be a stud. It's from Jacksonville. Um, I'll, I'll probably still have him coded through an essay maybe through Javon, but I still would want J Josh to ride out with a CC, you know, like, but for the most part, Josh should not be with agents. Josh should be with his managers, you know, or some of his managers, people that he's giving a, a, a relief from like Gio, for instance, he has an essay, Ashley, and, and she needed relief on her trainee in Dira. So Gio wrote out with Indira just to take her out of Ashley's hands, which is smart because Ashley's the one who we need to be rocking. She's the valuable asset. For, for Josh, the valuable asset on his team right now is Jay Vaughn. 
So, so for, for him to make Javon happier, he takes George off of Javon's hands and says, hey, Javon, you trained George for week one. You did a great job. I'm going to take him week two and get him out of your hair for a little bit. And, and Josh knows that we need to fucking get Javon writing some personal business. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing with Gio. We need to get Ashley writing some personal business. So he's like, I got to take Indira off of her for him for a little bit. But for the most part, should an MGA be riding out with their people? No, the GA should be doing that. But Josh don't have a GA. It's just Josh and Javon. Gio don't have a GA. So it's just him and Ashley. So that's why the MGAs are getting pulled back into that more than we really would want that to happen. That's why the hierarchies are important in making sure we have a GA that can step in and do, then take the relief off the SA. And then if the SA and the GA are so bogged down, then the MGA will come in and take the relief from them, which is a good problem to have because we had three people in last training class. I got three people in this training class. We, me and my essay, we did the best we could to get them all released, but I still got these three other people that aren't ready to get released. And I still got people coming into the next training class. So the MGA is like, well, we're going to have a traffic jam unless I get down there and start directing traffic with them. So now that he got to grab a whistle, grab a baton, get down there and start training people up too. So the essay is training the GA is training. Now the MGA is coming in for reinforcements out of necessity. And it's a good problem to have. But if we could control it and have a perfect world, you know, we'd really want the MGA not necessarily really riding out with too many agents or, or newer trainee people. We want the MGA spending most of their time with the SAs, with the GAs, and sharpening up, they, taking their top player to another, another level. That's going to get the bigger bang for the buck. We all know what, um, you know, uh, John Maxwell says, right? He says, if as a leader... If spending time with me is going to increase my people's results by 50%, then who do you want to spend time with? If you spend time with a two and I can increase their, their results by 50%, then I'm going to turn a two into a three. But if I can increase results by 50% and I go hop in with my eight, I could turn that eight into a 12. I just added four to my organization instead of adding one. So that's the whole idea of having you guys spending with the right, 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 right people. So, but for the most part, guys, that's it. Just keep it simple. A couple hours at night, everything else during the day is, is, is the team. Everything else during the day is the team. Nothing from eight till 12, but recruiting. We all know that. So, um, so uh, I got the PMPs up here and I pretty much scrolled through all of them. Um, and uh, I think we got them all down here. So it's going to be Christina. It's going to be um, Marvin. It's going to be Hunsberger and uh, Vince. So that's a good crew. They're kind of all, all a little bit from different teams, which is good. Christina's from G Geo's team. Uh, Reich, Reich got Marvin. Hunsberger's a different team. And you know, uh, and then Vince will be speaking for, for MGA. So guys, if, if we have, this is good because we have different speakers speaking. We have different speakers speaking today, you know, um, Melissa will speak. Um, we, we, we said, right. will speak. Yeah, the only one that's going to go twice is either Hunsberger or Vince. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we can even, I mean, yeah. That's okay. Hey, Vince, yeah. Michael Jordan played with the flu. As long as you don't got coronavirus, you're not giving it to anybody in the office. You, you're, you're good. You could also go in your office and speak on, on, on the ca camera if you really wanted to. But if something goes down, you can't speak, then we'll, we'll have um, Hunsberger speak for you for the, uh, for the convention. And Hunsberger will speak twice. So just make sure you give them some, give them some coffee or something, get them fired up. So we got that organized. Um, okay. So with these PMPs, let me just tell you guys where we're at. I think I put it in the text message. Everybody get, get the group me and everybody understand kind of what, 
I typed in there. I tried to keep it pretty um, clear, pretty cut and dry. So for the first quarter of the year, we we're down 75,000. And we went into April uh, needing 300 to stay on pace. And um, we, we were going to do 375 to make up. And then we would, we would have been coming into this month clean, right? But in April, instead of making up, um, we, we got behind. So we, didn't even, we were supposed to do 300 plus make 75. We did, we did two, 230. 230. So we fell back 70 on top of the 75. So we're like a, a, a behind a buck 50 going into May. Um, and, and guys, I, I'm staying on top of this because if it comes to the fourth quarter and we're behind like 700,000 or a million, it's going to uh, be your fault. Hey, sorry, we missed that last like 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying I'm, I'm trying to stay on on with these numbers here, because if we get behind and we go into the last quarter and this just keeps adding up, you know, we keep getting behind and behind and behind. It's going to add up. We'll be behind 700,000 or maybe a million going into the fourth quarter. And that's going to be a lot to make up because the fourth quarter is already going to be a son of a gun. In order for us to hit five million, this is like climbing Mount Everest, guys. This is, yes. I mean, this is like, it's, it's going to be fucking hard, like really, really, really hard to do this really hard. And, and I wish we could just hire our way and train our way to do it, but we're going to have to write our, this is, this is the, the we have to write the business guys. We're gonna have to write it, you know, and, and even in, in, in this room, you know, if each of you guys this year wrote a hundred thousand each, that'd be 500,000. And that's, that's pretty much us doing 4 million and 5 million right there. Like if you guys don't write the hundred thousand this year, I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably end up around 4 million maybe. But if you write about a hundred thousand, that's going to add about four or 500,000. That'll put us at 4.5. And here's the deal. You guys know how it works because you wrote that business that will get the agency will make up the other fucking, uh, 500,000, but because you don't write the business, it doesn't fire up. We lose the 500,000 because you guys didn't write the business. And then it doesn't fire up the agency as much. So we lost that fire there. You know what I mean? So we ended up at 4 million, but because you guys wrote the business, put us at 4.5. And then that fire made got the agency to go and play bigger than they normally would. And that pushes us over to 5 million. Like, that's why Ashley Miza is going to go drop 100,000 because he, she saw Gio write $12,000 that week, you know? And, 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 for, and, he, and he's out there every week still doing it, making no excuses. You got 10 hires this week, wrote four, four, 14 grand. Like, what are you going to say to that? Can't say shit. That's why my team responded to me, guys, because I was writing 6K a week when I was in RGA. That's how we became number one RGA, not by me sitting back. I promise you guys, I was in the field. I promise you. I was not the MGA to kick back and, you know, so, and because I saw what happened. I seen MGAs do, and, and, and just, you know, Simon would even, you know, point it out that he, he would, he would go, I guess he'd go in the meeting and he'd put his feet up on a desk like this, you know. And he'd be like, you MGAs can't get the MGA contract and do that. You know, now's the time to, to kick it into gear. And he saw me with his eyeballs. He saw me with his eyeballs produce and get results. And he said, that's a guy that I can trust and rely on and count on. <clears throat> so uh, that's just how we're going to get our numbers, man. I don't, I, and, and, until we can get it fixed somehow or, you know, get, get it, get get tons of people in the door, you know, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to, to write some business here. So, but I don't want to overcomplicate that. Um, all right. So we got the agency meeting planned out. Uh, we have three weeks left this month. So On that real quick, before you go, you sent me a, a video yesterday and you want me to play that for the video for when we first start? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I have a song we're gonna play. Um, it's by the score. It's called Champion. So I want to start the meeting out with a song called Champion by the Score. And I want you guys to listen to it as well and jam to it because it's good shit. So I want that music to play. Um, <laughs> play that through um like Spotify or whatever. And then Casey can play it in the office through uh thing so at what at 12 at 11 o'clock when we're supposed to start the meeting uh at 11 o'clock let me grab my notebook we'll start the song with champion and then as soon as that song's done playing as soon as that song's done playing then we're going to play that video um, from the college recruiting and then i'll come on for maybe 10 minutes uh, then, uh, then, uh, then we'll pass it over to, to convention. Um, I couldn't find an AIL video for convention 2021 or for 2022. I don't know if they, they never came out with one, but I did make that one for us um, last time. I might be able to throw a quick highlight video of our convention together. That's what I'll do, guys. I'll throw a quick highlight video of our convention together. I'll upload it on YouTube. Um, and then after I'm done talking, we'll play that. And then we'll have the three speakers come up. Uh, we'll start with uh, Reich. Then we'll go to Melissa. And then we'll go to uh, Vince or Huns. Then right after that, Gio will pop up, go over the outstanding performances. Uh, and you guys can do Google reviews, Geo and, and uh, Drew can do those. Um, and then we'll have the top performer speak. Uh, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. Let me ask you guys this. Do you want me to announce the, the top agent, SA, GA, MGA? Yeah. All right. All right. It's up to you. Or, or do you want Geo to announce it from, from the uh, office there? And have them come up to the stage and everything. I, I think Gio should. I think someone should do it here. Yeah. All right. Cool. Gio, you do it from the office there, bro. Okay. Okay. So song, video, you, convention, outstanding performances, recognition. Yep. Yep. And then Got just it. know the numbers that they did. Uh, and then when we do, we for agents, we got to announce the top three. So okay. Christina um, in Austin. Who was it? Christina Ellis in Austin. Christina Ellis Austin and 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 Pat Sullivan did 13,000 as well. So maybe do the top 4. Okay. Right, give them cool. some give them some recognition on that. <clears throat> um so uh for the the month now, what do we need, guys? Well, today, if we're at 55, last week we were at like 35, 30. let's call it. So 55 plus 35 is like 90. So we're behind about 80,000 for the month. We have three weeks left. We need 85,000 a week. Plus we got to make up the 80,000. So we got to add another at least 25 which will be 110,000 a week. Well, it's really gonna have to be 112. So 112,000. When I was growing up, there was a group called 112. And uh, on, the way back, on the way back from um, when I was driving yesterday, I was making Jess listen to some old school music that I used to listen to. She never heard none of it. <laughs> uh, and I was like, do you ever hear 112? She was like, no. So I made her listen to some 112 last night. So what that's a all. what a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence <laughs> that that's our number that we need. <laughs> so, yes, we, we need 112. Um, when we close the meeting, play that champion music again. Same song. Open and close. Um. So yeah, we're gonna need 110 for the next three weeks. So the good news is we're gonna make a shit ton of money. Good, good thing is everybody here, I mean, you, you saw those paychecks that one week, 
we're gonna have three weeks in a row of this shit. So let's start, guys. Let's start this um, uh, high level of intensity that just never dies. Uh, go turn the music up, and we're never gonna turn it down. Let's never end the party. Typically, AIL, they, they get all pumped up and they have a big week. And then the next week, they do this. And then we kind of build back up and we get pumped up and then we do this. Well, let me ask you guys, if we do if we do 130 in one week and we do 30 the next week, we, get, we only do an 80,000 a week. Like Gio, you you guys did a hundred thousand that week, and then the next week I think you guys did twenty. So in two weeks you did one hundred and twenty thousand. You're only sixty thousand a week. So what happens is we do the big weeks, and then we just eliminate them by having a bunch of small weeks, and it's a bunch of bull. It's the same shit to get the same result. The key is when we have the big weeks, we have to stay there. Why would we do it once and not do it again? LB went out, LB went out and wrote like eight grand one week, right? And you know what I told him? I said, guess what, bro? <laughs> now I know what you can do. I know you can write eight grand in a week. You done fucked up now. Cause guess what you gotta do every week? At least eight thousand, or I know you ain't working. That's the expectation I've always had. And that's what I need from you guys. I started this meeting talking about the expectations. People will live up to the expectations. One guy, Troy, came up to me at convention. He said, Tommy, I want to get to 30,000 a week by July. Right? And this dude's been an MGA for I don't even know how many years, since I was an RGA 10 years ago. Okay? He's like, I want to get to 30,000 a week by July. You know, what do you think I need? He said, right now, I have about 15 people. I got about 15 people. So I figured if I can get to 30 people, I'll be able to do 30,000 a week. I looked at him. I said, bro, you should be doing $30,000 a week. Now you have 15 people. That's only 2,000 a person. I said, you need, to make, you need to raise your expectations. That's what you need to do. And you need to find yourself a rabbit. Like if one person on your team's writing six, ten thousand dollars a week, everybody else is going to step their game up. So, so I'm I, the people who lose their expectations are busted. They're thinking small. That's just, that guy's problem. What do you think his problem is? You think his training's busted? You think he got bad leads? You think his SGA is an asshole? No, his he he has fifteen people. And he thinks he needs 30 people to write 30,000. That's what's wrong with him. So I had to tell this guy in a cabana right next to Steve Greer. Steve Greer's talking to me. And this guy comes up and asks me these stupid questions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so anyways, you know, um, that's what we started with those expectations. So, so, um, so that's what we need guys. And, and, and this week it's going to start with us and our expectations. We need to expect a hundred thousand a week from here on out. We are a hundred thousand dollar a week agency. Now, before we weren't, we weren't, but now we are, now we are, we got it in us every week, every week, you got to have one or two people on your team writing 10, 15 K. You gotta have a couple people on your team, you know, writing eight, six, a couple people writing four, and then the low ball gotta be the twos. Somebody writes one thousand, everybody on the team should be rallying up, like thinking, "Oh my God, poor Sue's only wrote a thousand. What are you saying to him? What were you swearing at people last week or something? You know?" So, so, um, so that's it. Now, uh, now for for that's one hundred and ten thousand a week. What do we need to do to get that? What do you guys feel like you guys can do to get this 100,000, 110,000 these next few weeks? So let, let's just get a quick commitment from, this, from you guys on the ALP, a quick commitment on the hires. I'll tell you guys how we're going to report the numbers and we'll get out of here. So 
So I'll just uh, I'll just write it down here. We'll just go. You know, uh, Gio, you want to start us out? Yep. So we'll do 30K per week. 30K per week. All right. All right. Let's see here. Vince, what do you got? Um, let's say uh, 35. 35. Now, keep in mind, is this going to add up to what you needed for the month? Yeah, my, mine was supposed to be 25K per, or no, 27K per month to hit our goal for the four mil for the year. That was what we were on pace for, but we're, we're behind. So we got to up it to, to at least 30. Okay. You want right. to do 160 this month, right? Yeah, I think you you got wasn't your goal 160 this month too, Gio? Uh so so my goal was 125 for, for us to hit the four mil, but you told us to do 150 for me and Vince. Okay. okay, got you, got you. So so all right, so let's let's go towards those numbers because that's what really what we're gonna need. Um okay. so but but let's let's say so so one what what do you need for your 160 events you know if you do 35 a week that'll put you at 100 you know are you at 60 by for the month so far i don't think so no uh, right now I'm, we're just at like uh like 12.1 12, 12,000. um well we're two weeks down now we're two weeks into the month <clears throat> So basically we're at work, you know, I could pull up the month to date report on my, on my email here. All right. I could forward that over to you guys right now too. And then, and then you guys are at for the month, just so you know where you're at. Okay. Um, you're at whatever this email says that you're at plus what you turned in today. Okay. So for like Josh, uh, looks like month to date, 8,900 plus what you turned in today. Geo, uh, 12,000 plus what you turned in today. Vince, 4,000 plus what you turned in today. Uh, Casey, 28 and uh, Drew, 43. So we're at 16,000 then. Yeah, six, 16. So let's just say you need like another buck 40 um, over yeah. three weeks would be like, uh, what is that? 40, 40, about 45,000 a week. We, we would need, yeah, 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 that's about 45,000 a week. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So same thing with you, G. And, and honestly, guys, I, I feel like, uh, I mean, I know you don't got the people, the t tons of people, but you guys did 50,000. And that's 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 what our expectations should be from here on out. Whatever we did that hundred thousand dollar week, man, we can't go backwards, you know. So try and have your expectations up to there. Um, if if you guys can, you know, come in at forty five, even forty thousand each, um, it'll get you right in right into to range. Maybe the last week we pump it up, give everybody a bunch of leads the last week, and have a big push, and you know, make up for the little bit that we we miss. Um, but definitely if, if, if we get at least a hundred thousand, 110 as an agency, which would basically mean like geo minimum of 35 Vince minimum of 35. And then that would give, you know, Josh 25 to hit, you know, 25 to 30 to hit between him and drew, you know, and then, and then Casey can, can get us five or 10 and that'll put us right where we need to be. So, um, on that too. Um, are we? Um, we I have in my Chad, Chad, hold on for one one second. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on for one second. Can can you guys just make sure you figure out what your real real numbers are for commitments, and then take these next two minutes, figure out where you're at for hires, because last week was week one for hires. We have three more weeks for hires. Let me know what you got for hires last week, and then let me know what your commitment is for the next three weeks as well. But I, I got to uh, give me one second. All right, while you figure that out. I got three this past week, two personals, and uh, I'm going to go, for me, four a week plus being a Three plus, sorry, what? So we could probably get six, six times three, 18 more between Mr. Bain and I. 18 for the month. 18 plus, 18 more. Okay, okay you got, got three. I got three, he got two last week, so that was uh, five. five. The whole, and I, first time. Wait, did we get four week? I can't remember, we four. Is it? Oh. 
Wait, 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 for like, I mean, it's good that they, I probably scared them away to be honest with you, but I'd rather have them do it than, than get into training and fucking, you know what I mean? I'd rather, he wasn't, he probably wouldn't have been anyway. I'll just do eight from here on out. I don't think I have any so far for the month. When was the first hire week? This week, last week. Last week, or we've had two weeks stop, right? No, just one. It was just last week. Yeah, what? We did five weeks and and ah, yeah. So I'm at zero. We got to do eight. It'll be twenty-four tires. I gotta, I gotta fucking, I gotta get out of here though, bro. I, I can't. I'm like dying. Yeah, you look like you're. Everything you know, I can't sit here anymore. It's your your forehead's right. Fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah, your face is all fucking red, dude. I was just covering her. Go home, get a shower, a cold shower. I, I did this morning. I like woke up real early because he was like, "You better be here early." <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. I like felt okay. And just the more I sit here, bro, like, everything just hurts. Everything just hurts. It's making me like, it's making me like not be able to sit still. I probably have that fucking run that dog. Don't suck dog. I'm gonna go get a test. Yeah, you should probably. Didn't you get tested coming back? Yeah, but like two two days prior to the flight, we did. So. It was weird because Hans felt the same way yesterday. Were you drinking uh, any, was, any of the water down there? Like out of the faucets and no, shit? No, no. no. So I know you're goofy, you just probably stick your head on there to save yourself. <laughs> no, I'm doing more. I got a shower. I think I brushed my teeth once. Yeah, yeah. I did that in the shower. <laughs> Why well, not water down there can fuck with you? This is weird because I felt fucking great. Not on, resort, not on resorts like that, don't you? I felt fucking great, and then and then the day went by. I worked out in the morning, and then like right when I was leaving the office last night, like at ten thirty, I like just started allergies. feeling like I got beat the fuck out of the bath. Do you have allergies? I pulled over. It sucked. Do you have allergies? I cat allergies. You got pulled over last night too. Yeah. So the job is not pulled over. He let me go. I let me let go. I got all these speeding tickets, so they just on your bike. me every time now. They're always like, well, you got a lot of violations. So I got to give you something, you know. He's like, you're on your phone, you have an expired uh, thing. And, 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 expired what? Your sticker? Yeah, the plate. Yeah, mine is due. And he was like, you guys want to give me a Instead of giving you all four of these, I'm going to give you one. I'm like, oh, thanks. You ride around 30 to 7, man. My license plate's all killed off. I know, you're just bad. <laughs> I, I just tell them. I, I, I think I told you about that six months ago. <laughs> I'll pull it, door. Can you, uh, so, hey, pull I was thinking maybe it's because of the weather. You were there, you came here, and, and it, I don't know. Is it like, no, I, I felt that yesterday. I felt like cold and shit. Yeah. But I mean, to be honest, it, it does happen. Like, my dog got pneumonia because it got really cold and then really hot. Yeah. I don't know, bro. It could be a little, uh, you're like his dog, bro. Wheezing and coughing. I mean, you look like him right now. You look, you look rough this morning. Are you guys on this pressure? Is it like, yeah, is it pressure? You can, you can use uh, saline. Third just hurts. Just do one more. Your favorite hurts? hurts? Yeah. What else? Third hurts in my back. Just feels like Bucket I'm fucking punched. Like, 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 there's a bunch of cramps right here. And like your kidneys, right? You know, say you drink a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I felt fine, dude. Yeah. Everyone else felt like shit. They were all on the other ground. You probably got a drink? He gave it. I did pound it, dude. It tasted like shit, but yeah. I pounded it. That was work. That's work. Story to tell. I just can't fucking. There's no way I'm going to be like right there and pop it outside like this. Or fucking moping around. Well, you look like you're hurt. You look like you're going to hurt. That's all. He's going to have you. He closed it. Yeah. 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 I'm trying not to, I can't, I can't, like there's something that you said to, Jordan had the flu. I need to just pass it. No, but he actually flu. didn't have the flu. It was, you know, yeah. after reading the, the, the yeah. Poster yeah. Poster. yeah. We good? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, what do you guys think? Uh, we got the. Got right, so 41K a week for us. That's where we need to hit number 150. We have six hires so far. We need 20 more to get us 20 cents. All right, so seven a week. Yes, sir. That'll be your number then, seven this week, unless you want it to be more or less, unless you got a different game plan. Maybe you want to do six, seven, eight, or eight, seven, six, or 
10 this week and two and then seven, <laughs> you know, whatever your idea is. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking 10 and then which – uh, should be more ten five five is what I'm thinking, but it'd probably be more honestly. Okay. Well, um, all right. So let's go. Uh, so you got that forty one and seven, Vince. So I got no hires right now, and I got to do eight a week. Twenty four for the month. All right. Um, uh, Drew. Uh, so I got I got two hires so far. Um, I need five in the next three weeks. That's definitely at 17 months. My commitment was 16. So All right, five a week, five a week. ALP wise, we're at about like 10 to 12,000. So we need 20,000 minimum the next three weeks to hit our, our my commit. 20. So, so what was your commit? Uh, my commit was 60. Okay. I mean, I, I, I want to do more than that, so that's why I want to do 20. 20 a week. 20 a week. Gotcha. All right. Five hires, 20 a week. Josh? Uh, I need five hires a week over the next three weeks and 20 pay a week. All right. Um, how many did you get last last week? Uh, last week, I only got one, but the week before, I got seven. All right. So <laughs> this, this month, then, you're at one. Gio, you got some hires so far this month? Yeah, we got six last week. But Great job. Uh, last week, right? Yeah, last week. Yeah, yeah, just six. Yeah, yeah, last week's the first week of the month. Good job. And then, Casey, you guys, how many got five last week, you and my dad? Yeah. Casey got we, three. My dad got two. So, great job on the five hires there. What's your, what's your hire number for the month? We'll go 20 and we'll keep it even five more. Five a week. Yep. For the next three weeks. All right. And uh, ALP wise? 50K, we're going to get 15 a week. All right. All right. So, um, so when we report numbers, guys, at the end of the night, um, put your uh, ALP out of your goal, like we always do. And then also put your hires out of your hires goal. Oh, yeah. And what I was going to do was is start a situation where um, on Thursday mornings, if uh, your team is at the higher goal for the week, or I was just going to say four, just give it just an agency number is four. Anybody who's at four hires by Thursday, you and your managers get breakfast at the manager's meeting. Uh -huh. Love it. So, the, so let's drive your team now and use that as a thing. Hey, guys, we got to make sure we're at least four hires by Thursday, at least four hires by Thursday. And that'll take a lot of pressure off you guys on a Friday, because I can't tell you how many Fridays I have spent in my office, like ready to pass out by the end of the day from doing hires all day. Because I, I, we, we just it was just the way the, the, the week would work. We would call Monday, we call Tuesday, we call Wednesday. Thursday was always the biggest group for us. So then Friday would always would just be all the hires from the whole week got stacked up on Friday. And I spent my whole day in the office getting hires Friday, which is a great thing. It's a great thing. Like really, that's really what your whole Friday should be consisting of is just sitting in the office getting hires all day. You know, that's a great Friday as an MGA. Um, but man, if we could get four hires before Thursday, that'd be great, you know? So, um, so I was thinking about that and then, and then, you know, maybe even on Mondays, if you didn't get your four hires by Thursday, like if you got it for the week, you know, Monday we'll get coffee or something or for, for the, for the MGA who hits their four hires for the week, you know, but I want to put more focus on, on hires period. Um, We'll just print, just just um, report your hires for the week uh, right now. But what I would might be doing on your your individual group me is having your uh, managers report to you their recruiting results on a daily basis. So you know whatever you're tracking with them, like for them it could be hires, could be personal, but it could be interviews set if that's really what you're focused on with them. 
So, you know, Tommy Whalen, you know, make sure you report to me every night. You know, your goal is to have 20 interviews set this week out of your team. That's you and, 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 and Matt Jans combined. So out of your whole team, 20 interviews each day, send me where you're at with what, you know, 10 out of 10 or 10 out of 20 or whatever. So that's, that's what we'll do um, moving forward, guys. So that's it. That's it, man. We got, um, uh, we got our work cut out for us this month, this I week. Got, I got a question. Um, I have in my, uh, my calendar here that we were supposed to get new leads again today. Are we reshuffling them today or what are we doing about that? That's hundred percent up to you guys. What do you guys think? I mean, I like I'd like to have mine reshuffled if I could. Yeah, I'm mine. I just I'm okay with mine right now. The well, only reason why is when we reshuffled it last time, I got about a hundred of the same leads that I had before. Oh, okay. That's the well, only reason. I do you guys want to go today or Thursday? I'll I'll do them today or Thursday. Whatever you guys think. Whatever you guys think. If you want to do it Thursday, that's fine too. I'll take the next two days and just, you know, rape them up. Yeah, let's demolish. That's fine. That's fine. All right, cool. Then let that gives everybody time. Make sure you announce that to everybody. Tell them to okay. run, demolish their leads, get them coded out, all that stuff. You know, Josh, okay. we, we missed anything, Josh? Uh, no, we're good to go. I'll have I'll have the agency meeting ready to go. All right, brother. So, Tommy, what's up? I, I, uh, I'm about to like pass the fuck out, bro. Oh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go. I don't, know. I don't know what it is. I promise you, I'm not being a bitch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I've been there. Geo, this, is man. Like, this is like the most important week, dude. It's really fucked up. So I'm just gonna go try to sleep and yeah. get a rest. And then hopefully, I can be 100% tomorrow. And if Gio, if you could brief my managers on what we just went over, and then I'm going to tell them some remarks that I had from last night that I planned out. And I just don't know what else to do, man. I feel like a dope head or something. Like I can't, I can't even like stand anymore. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you're like hey, Gio, man. just take his team with your team today, bro. They're your team anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so that, that 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 that'll be fine. And they'll they'll like that anyways. They get to hang out with with their with their. Uh, with the grandfather. They'll probably do more than they do with me, bro. <laughs> cool. All right, get, get some rest, man. All right, maybe maybe by phone session, you'll be ready to go. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Wait, so I drank this. I think you'll be ready for you're going to be able to speak. Can you, can you speak for the M top MGA for a minute? Dude, I can't. Virtual? If, I, if I was up there, I would just be like this with this tongue the whole time. Like, if I stand straight and everything, I just start to feel really cold, bro. So, okay. So, here, how about, how about this, man? How about this? Is it possible for, for us to just, like, maybe just have you hop on a Zoom, Zoom and just say, hey, you know, thank you to my team for the month. You know, you guys rocked it. Really appreciate you guys for everything, you know, and um, we're just getting started, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and maybe, like, two minutes, and then Geo can close it down. Because we are going to have you close it down for being the top MGA for the month. And then it's fucked up. So, so we'll, we'll, we could do that. And, and if you can't even hop on like you're that sick, bro, then we'll, um, we'll just, you know, we'll just announce you as a top, M a top MGA for the month. You know, let them know that you, I don't know, should we say you're not, you're not feeling well? Yeah. Want to tell everybody that or just say you couldn't, you couldn't be here today or something? I don't know. What's I don't like, I, for me personally, I don't like people. I don't like when people know I'm sick. I don't know why. Personally, it's just a personal thing for me. Cause then everybody's like, oh, I hope you feel better. And I, and I feel like a chump, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's just me personally. So like, if you want me to say you're, you're not feeling well, we'll just tell everybody Vince is just not feeling well today, but he's at least at home and he's a soldier and he's hopping on. He's just going to say thank you real quick. And then Gio can close it down. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We don't need to say shit. <laughs> you're right, Gio. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> you know, and you know, they'll just they'll just think like he's just, you know, doing something. Just, oh. or maybe they'll think that he's just in fact this for the day. No. Yeah, he's just work, he's virtual for the for that's fine. That's cool. All right, that'll work good. So Gio, cool. you can close us down then.
Yeah, you, is there you any- so many people down there at convention. You probably got all kind of fire you can bring. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bring something, man. You want me to be quick with it? Like just. Dude, whatever you want, man. It's your show at the end, dude. You know, I, I want to get to it quick so that if you actually took like an extra five minutes, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Right, rather cool. than rather than we get there and it's like, uh, you know, 12, 11, 55 and everybody's like, geez, oh, how long is yeah. this going to be? You know? Exactly. Okay. All right, cool. I got it. I'll, I'll work on it now. And All right, bro. Yeah. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Hit me up if you need anything. All right. Thanks, brother. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs>
number to call you back. Okay, no, I'll let you go. I'll have someone call you, uh, who speaks Spanish call back.
Thank you. 